In December 2014, a driver shouting Allahu Akbar, the Arabic for God is greatest, ran down 11 pedestrians in Dijon, France. The prosecutor in the case stated that the attacker had a long history of mental illness and the incident was not linked to terrorism. In 2015, Alan Rizvanovic drove his vehicle through Graz, Austria, killing three people and injuring 36 others. He now resides in a psychiatric ward rather than a prison after being assessed and reported to be mentally ill. In February 2016, Russian nanny Gyalchera Bobakolova decapitated the child she was supposed to be looking after, parading the severed head around Moscow while shouting Allahu Akbar. She did not face trial for murder or terrorism, as she was reported to be insane. In March 2016, Ayani Hassan Ali stabbed two soldiers in Canada. He was acquitted of terrorism charges due to being reported as suffering from schizophrenia. In May 2016, a man yelling Allahu Akbar killed one person and wounded three others in a knife attack in Munich, Germany. He was reported as having a mental illness and placed in a psychiatric ward. In July 2016, 15 people were injured in a suicide bombing outside a wine bar in Germany. The perpetrator, Syrian refugee Mohamed Dalil, had pledged allegiance to the Islamic State. It was widely reported that he had previously been under psychiatric care and diagnosed with mental health issues. In August 2016, an attacker shouted Allahu Akbar while stabbing a rabbi in Strasbourg, France. The attacker was assessed to be, and reported as, mentally ill. In August 2016, a Norwegian Somali stabbed several people in Russell Square, London, UK. One person was killed. It was reported widely in the press as a mental health issue. In October 2016, a woman in a burqa attacked police with a knife in Germany while shouting, you guessed it, Allahu Akbar. It was later reported that she was admitted to a psychiatric hospital. In December 2017, a Syrian asylum seeker stabbed multiple people in Berlin. He was reported in the press to be mentally unstable. Also in December 2017, Saeed Nouri used his car to run down pedestrians in Melbourne, Australia. One person was killed and 17 others were injured. Nouri himself stated that his actions were a response to the way Muslim people People are treated. However, he was widely reported to have had a history of drug use and mental health issues and was not convicted of any terrorism charges. In May 2018, a Syrian asylum seeker stabbed three people in The Hague while shouting Allahu Akbar. He was reported to have had mental health issues in the media. In June 2018, a Syrian refugee stabbed police in Holland while shouting Allahu Akbar. The mayor described it as a psychotic attack. In September 2018, an Afghan asylum seeker stabbed three people in Germany. He was sent to a psychiatric ward, not prison. In December 2018, an asylum seeker from Kosovo injured nine people with an axe in Dusseldorf. He was described in the media as having a history of mental illness and was placed in a psychiatric ward. In January 2019, a man stabbed several people at Manchester's Victoria Station in the UK. He was heard shouting about Allah and the Caliphate as he was arrested. Although still facing potential terrorism charges, it was reported at the time that he was detained under the Mental Health Act.